a class can be written uh, to uh, organize the music files uh, in a computer and uh, this class uh, won't deal with the details of each files instead this will be delegated to uh, the ArrayList library class uh, which um, is important to keep in mind that uh, library classes are not written for a, a particular uh, scenario, uh, for, for a particular application scenario. Uh, they are general purpose classes. Uh, that's why it's needed to have a class, uh, a separate class that has to be written, that interacts with uh, this uh, library class. Uh, and uh, this uh, uh, class uh, is, uh, that uh, interacts with the library class uh, is the one that uh, provides uh, the um, scenario specific operations uh, like for a music musical action um, the operations uh, that uh, deal with uh, uh, music files uh, playing them. Uh, the uh, first version of uh, the organizer uh, will not uh, deal with the, the the author, the name of the track, uh, uh, the duration, etc. Uh, but it uh, will only uh, use uh, the name uh, and ask the uh, the array list class uh, to uh, s store these names as string objects and this is the first version, but then further sophistication can be made uh, to um, make a more viable organizer and a player. Uh, but uh, what is needed for uh, the um, To, to understand the um, to understand the, uh, how a library class is created and used uh, th this is enough uh, the, the assumption uh, that has to be made is that uh, these uh, uh, files uh, will um, uh, each contain a single um, a music track and so they represent music tracks and uh, operations the basic operations that uh, um, the organizer should perform uh, is to add uh, new music tracks to the organizer um, to, to the collection, to the music collection uh, to um, list all the tracks in the music collection to um, what else? Um, uh, 
there are two more on basic operations, but I don't remember. Uh, and uh, to uh, understand uh, the, to export the uh, um, first version of the organizer, uh, we will do some exercises. So I create a new music organizer and uh, then add a few files. Oh, yes, so also at uh, another basic op operation is to um, uh, um, be able to uh, tell how uh, many files are in the, in the music collection and um, uh, another uh, the, the other operation is that uh, uh, there is no predetermined uh, limit on how much uh, how, how many files uh, can be uh, stored um, in in the collection, uh, except for the fact that um, I mean until uh, the the memory of the computer is full. So exercise a few files. And now, um, um, oh, okay, number of files. It should be two, and it is two, and then list five, zero. The first one I have added, and the second is this one, right? Then, If I remove a file here, zero, now let's see. And I want to list the file. Oh, how was it? Am I doing it correctly? Okay, remove file zero. I did it. And now list file zero.
so it printed uh, the second track so uh, I think that what might have happened uh, when uh, I called um, the remove track the, the remove file method I called the remove file method and uh, it uh, not only removed the file at position 0 but also moved uh, to uh, one that is at the next position the uh, position 1 to position 0 now uh, if there are no no tracks added and they call remove file zero uh, nothing is printed uh, nothing is returned uh, nothing really happens and uh, an error uh, um, well uh, that there is no error shown and uh, I didn't expect an error but there can be an error that says that um, nothing was removed because uh, there is no file to remove 